And welcome to my what I eat in a week as a post-grad student. I'm kind of in this awkward stage in my life where I kind of don't really know what my identity is because like for the past two decades, I've literally been in school, back to school. September 2024 rolls around and I'm not back there. It definitely feels weird. But with that being said, welcome to my what I eat in a week as a post-grad student living at home, chilling with the fam, eating with the fam fam chefing for the fam up in the yeehaw territories Today I'm vlogging because it's kind of an eventful day because I'm going downtown with my mom and meeting up with Elizabeth. And the reason why I'm home right now is because there's been a rat situation at my place downtown. When I tell you the rat situation is bad, it's so bad. It's been literally like jumping, climbing up cabinets, okay, to eat my dog's food and jumping on beds and fucking letting fecal matter loose while we're sleeping. That's why I had to, in the meantime, getting ready now. We are actually shopping for my dad's birthday today. This is kind of the makeup look. And now let's get dressed. Recently, I've been very into this like academic look. Like I love just like trousers. The moment I graduate, this is when I get into that type of aesthetic. Speaking of graduation, yes, I've graduated. If you guys do see any school vlogs posted in the near future, that was me in the past, but I still want to get it out there because I'm a whore for nostalgia, okay? Speaking of academic school style, I feel like I'm going to dress that way today. Oh, I also got, I recently got this in the mail. It's from the brand Elwood. I love Elwoods. They always come out with the flyest shit in my opinion. If you guys want to check out Elwoods, use code Ainsley10 for 10% off on any Elwoods purchases. I really want to wear this jacket. Cargo jeans, jeans from Lee Jeans, tank top from Tank Air and jacket from Elwood's clothing. Purse, Samo Ondo. I'm trying to think if I wanna wear a hat today. Can't tell me this isn't a fly fit. Whoa, holy damn. <laughs> online and it looked fire 
So we're gonna recreate that today. It says that we should use like a slow cooker to cook it, but I honestly can't find the slow cooker at all. So we're just gonna use an Instapot instead. So now we're on a hunt to find some fresh watercress yeah. so we can pick them and eat them. Uh, we used to do this all the time in my childhood. Let's see. We used to have a lot in our properties, but it's a little bit less now, so we go outside. Yeah, we have to go outside to outside find watercress now. Yeah, but before it's like we could literally go in our backyard and there's so much. We used to have like so much along here. Now it's all mint. Now it's all mint. All of it? Uh, oh. it's, it's round, okay? Okay. Now, these are round. Like so that's watercress? That's watercress. <gasps> so sound is like this. Pointy. Mint. Mint, yeah. Yes. But you've been to your whole round. A lot yeah. of these. Water crust. Water crust. Yeah. So much of water crust. This outside our property it was quite right. good today. Yeah, organic. Yeah. So basically, right now we are picking out like the grassy parts yeah. or like whatever the stems that we don't need um, off like the good piece yeah. that we want to eat. So we've and the roots, kind of been, yeah, we can throw this back in outside and they will grow. And oh, we should throw it near a pond. Yeah, I did, okay. I did, but yeah. we can throw more. Mm -hmm. My ear, this stem, how you sick? Oh, oh well, I've goodness. been ripping them all off. Oh, oh, don't, uh, doesn't matter, there's a lot. Wait, so you, you can bring, stem? no, I don't did. want the roots. Oh. <laughs> So now we are prepping for dinner and today we are making it's one of my absolute favorite recipes which is this quinoa salad packed with greens and packed with just good food for the soul. Whenever I have this dish, I just get hit with a sense of so much nostalgia because when me and Elizabeth used to live together, she'd always make this for dinner. It's just so nutrient dense and cozy and it comes with such good memories. Country queen. <laughs> 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 
Okay, this is low-key a funny side story. So basically, I was at the drive test center because I had to get my license renewed. But I had to take my photo like almost, I could you not like 10 times because for some reason, my lips just don't close. For your license photo, you can't show any teeth whatsoever. And I was out here struggling so hard. For some reason, there's just a little gap that shows my teeth in every single photo until like the 10th try. Hello. Hello! So right now we are heading to Walmart because it's my dad's birthday in two days. Yes! And we are making a Black Forest vegan cake for him because that's his fate. So we have some of the ingredients. Yeah. One thing we need is coconut milk, the sugar, and cherries. So round two, we're off to Balt Barn because we couldn't find chocolate shards at Walmart. I kind of want to get some candy. Ball barn is my guilty pleasure. Oh, and it's vegan. Great. Yeah, right there. Why? So my dad is a vegan. That's why we need to get vegan everything. So that's why this came in clutch, eh? Yeah, now we're going to get candy just for some snackies. Wine gum, we got sour peaches, and we got candy corn, and we got colas. Great. Now, let's taste it. Taste this. I want to have some candy corn. Thanks. Mm. With the mm -hmm. sugar, no sugar. I actually like the sugar one now. Right? Mm. Cola no. I miss this. Why do you buy so little? Look at Corbin control. Food for the soul. Now I'm just having a productive sesh with Tanya. While she was doing schoolwork, I was just kind of journaling about this post grad era, setting some new goals, timelines, journaling about milestones, and all that jazz. Oh my gosh, what's going on?